I have got some exciting news. I am going to run a half marathon tomorrow. Anna and I are in Columbus, Georgia for the January 9th Red Nose Half Marathon, and I am going to run it. We drove in around noon today on Friday, January 8th, and rented an Airbnb so that we could, so that I could be rested up and get here for the race early because it's gonna be at 8 a.m. bright and early. Where's my and now we are just early for our Airbnb check-in, so we're going to a little coffee shop to get some productivity underway. Fun stuff. We just had pizza dinner. Maybe not the best decision right before a big race. And I had one beer. One beer. And I haven't had anything to drink all week and I'm feeling really tipsy. So now Anna's driving me back. Thank you, Anna. You're the best. Hope you tip your taxi driver well. I never do. Race day breakfast. Thank you, Hunter Clark, for teaching me about bananas before running. Let's do this. Alrighty, in the car, now on the way to the race. I'm a little freaked out about time because we've only got about 15 minutes to pick up the bib for my you know, shirt. But uh, I think we'll make it. It's pretty close to us right now and um, it's been rainy. So, there's that. Find out. I don't need to have my ID. I'm in the correct line. And I'm good to go. So cool. Alrighty, things are coming together this morning. I lost Anne. I don't know where she made off to, but it's about 7.50 and we're getting ready for some instructions. I'm so excited. There's so many runners, so many like bright neon colors. God, it's my first half marathon. This is amazing. I want to reminisce on this. This is awesome. Three miles in, 10.1 to go. Feeling strong. <laughs> Might be hosed. My left knee is pinching up. It's hurting. It's really quite painful to run on. And this is what it is. I'm just walking to easy, ease it up, and I'm gonna try and finish the race one way or another. Not what I would have wanted. Oh my 
god. 13.1 miles in about two hours and five minutes, I think it was. I need to get the exact time. My knees started giving out around a mile 11 or 12, and I had to walk slash jog the last few bits. And then I freaking made it. Couldn't have done it without the help of a kiss. Hey, mommy. Hey, gorgeous. Nice job, nice job. Well done. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Put her there. Put her there. Right in front of me. I got yeah. 2 Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Everyone killed it today, and I didn't quite make the pace that I wanted, but we made it, made it across at 2.05. I'm so happy about that. I want to go over to the finish line now and cheer on a few more finishers. Puppy, puppy, puppy. Oh. I want to talk about expectations. This was my first run in Philadelphia. I ran 2.3 miles. It was an average of 9 minutes, 16 seconds per mile. And that's pretty pitiful. That's pretty slow. But what it marked was the start of a summer of running where I ran almost every single day. And I logged probably 50 runs over the course of the summer. Living in Philadelphia was a really motivating experience for me for running. Because I was able to join and run so many people on the common path there. And it was amazing. Some of my longest, fastest runs were in Philadelphia. This is all to say that I felt like I had been training for a long time for this half marathon. And so once I finally got to it, I think it contributed to this disappointment that I didn't meet that time that I was hoping for. I went into my race day with a certain expectation that I could run a half marathon in under two hours. And I was pretty dead set on that. And probably the most frustrating part is that I probably could have run that half marathon in under two hours but I got too excited and I ran too fast and I really injured my knee. I was really frustrated on that day. It felt very, it felt like a failure because I'd set a certain expectation for myself and I wasn't able to live up to that. And so even though I achieved a certain time, a certain accomplishment, because I'd set my expectations here and I only got to here, it felt like I was falling short of what I had expected to do. My half marathon was still a victory. It was still a huge accomplishment for me, and I really should be, and am, proud of it. This was not a wasted opportunity for me, this half marathon. I learned that I ought to be happy just to have finished it. I did something that so many people never get to do. 13.1 miles. That's a long freaking distance and I ran it. I am happy with it. I'm proud of myself for it. I really am. I can't wait to run it again and I will beat two hours eventually. But it's not a bad first try. Now back to our regularly scheduled programming. After a hot shower and a new set of clothes, I'm not shivering cold anymore, and I feel like a million bucks, except for my left knee. My left knee's still pretty tender. And now we're going to eat barbecue lunch with the fam. Let's see, what do you 
think they're uh, The citizens spoke, and the, the objections were one woman, she says, I'm a science teacher. And All right, just finishing up uh, barbecue brunch with the family. I want to be on the vlog. <laughs> Damn you, River, for leaving mud all over the trail that I was just running on. If I keep my legs perfectly straight, it doesn't hurt as bad to walk, but it gives me this kind of forced gump swagger.